Hello everyone, welcome to Elderson Plus and today we are going to discuss about the coronavirus disease which is caused by a severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2 and is now affecting millions of the people all over the world. So it is a type of single stranded RNA virus that belongs to coronavirus families. The coronavirus can be divided into four genera alpha coronaviruses, beta coronaviruses, gamma coronaviruses and delta coronaviruses. Currently there are seven coronaviruses which are known to infect the humans which includes two alpha coronaviruses and five beta coronaviruses. These deadly coronaviruses cause lower respiratory tract infections resulting in acute pneumonia, respiratory distress, cytokine storm, multiple organ dysfunctions and even patient death. SARS-CoV-2 is a positive sense single-stranded RNA connected to a nucleoprotein surrounded by a matrix protein based capsids. Among the RNA viruses, the human COVID has the biggest viral genomes which is 27 to 32 kilo base pairs within 80 to 160 nanometer in the diameter. There are crown shaped spikes on the surface of this virus and it helps in the entrance to the host cell and it also contains the end valve which helps in the adherence to the host cell and it contains the membrane and the nuclear capsid. These different proteins play an important role in the viral infection and their pathogenesis. You can see in the picture there are spike or the S proteins, M proteins or the membrane protein, and valve proteins, genomic RNA which is single stranded, and the lipid bilayer and nucleocapsids. There are some non structure proteins or the accessory proteins. These non structure proteins help in the viral RNA replication or the transcription and interacts with the host cell that help the virus to evade the immune system and enhances their virulence. The membrane and the involved protein help the virus assembly and promote the virulence while the spike protein mediate viral entry into the cell and thereby membrane fusion and facilitating the viral infection. The incubation phase of the COVID-19 is 3 to 7 days which is globally and approximately 80% of the infection cases remain mild or asymptomatic while the 15% are the severe and 5% infection cases turn to critical which require the ventilation. The three major causes of infection include the mild disease which upper respiratory symptoms involves and the non severe pneumonia and severe pneumonia which is complicated by acute respiratory distress syndrome and multi-organ failure. Fever and the cough are the common symptoms whereas fatigue, shortness of breath and chest discomfort are observed in moderate to the severe cases. But there are some liver and the gastrointestinal tract infections which includes the diarrhea, vomiting and the abdominal pain. And the transmission occurs by droplet contaminating hands and the surface or the means of dispersal of the virus. The gastrointestinal tract is also spreading pathway and the target organ of the SARS-CoV-2. On the study demonstrated that the presence of SARS-CoV-2 RNA in faces of COVID-19 patients and it is suggests that the chances of SARS-CoV-2 transmission through the fecal order routes. SARS-CoV-2 may also be noticed within the tear. Infection can only spread in the existence of the contacts. So the nosocomial spread is controlled through wearing the face mask and, and environmental hygiene and personal protective equipment is the vital elements. There is no validated medicine is available till date against the COVID-19. But as extracorporeal membrane oxygenation is considered as an effective remedy in the treatment of the severe COVID-19. But the spike protein on the viral envelope is believed to help in the development of the vaccine. And I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, please subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon for the new video. And if you have any suggestion to improve my video, please comment in the comment section box. And thanks for watching.